Greetings, this is Brandon with Primarily Pens. Today I have the latest pen from David Osterson, the Huns Christian Anderson. I received this pen at the Dallas Pen Show, but held off doing this video until the Pen World October edition was released with the Hans Christian Anderson on the cover. I am now famous because I am pictured with David Osterson and my friend Rick with this one of one pen and the original prototype. Hans Christian Anderson lived for 70 years in the early 1800s, so these pens will be released in series of 70 pens in either fountain or rollerball. I usually start at the top, but the story told by this pen begins at the bottom. The translucent white represents a broken egg with shell fragments that you can see in a tan enamel duck yard. If you look closely, you can see three ducklings along with footprints in lower leaf. Then you see a baby swan in mid-relief. These are the Easter eggs I adore from David Osterson. You have to look closely to see them. It then transitioned to a ripple water pattern, and in this case, light blue water where you can see a mere reflection of a swan in high relief. At this point, I will call out a couple differences from the original prototype. This spectacular and bold prototype blue will not be offered as a normal release but the main technical difference is that the reflection of the swan is in mid-relief on the prototype, while all other copies will use the high relief you see here. The high relief presents the reflection a bit clear, although I think it works either way. Moving on to the band, it has David Acheson, Stone Silver Hallmarks, and the pen number engraved. This is numbered one of one as it transitioned from the prototype to production copies. The image on the cap is the fully grown, beautiful swan outlined in high relief with opaque orange and black adding to the head features. Looking closely at the body, you can actually see the feathers in low relief. It is details like this that make Osterson's creation so amazing. You can see the feather pattern in the reflection as well. One of the reasons this pen was numbered one of one is that the translucent white was going to be replaced with an opalescent white to better represent the true colors of swans. I have seen the opalescent white version. It is a truer swan color, at least as much as my knowledge of swans go, but it did not show the feathers nearly as well. After making a version of the opalescent white, David decided to go back to the translucent white. The background has a similar wavy water pattern in low relief. If you look closely, you can see that the water pattern is a little tighter in the reflection. The top has H.C. E. Anderson's signature in high relief. The production pieces will have a slightly thicker signature with a little bit of a taper to the signature. And to finish off the theme, the clip has an egg with a crack in it. Great little detail. The pen weighs 83 grams. Opening up the pen reveals the two-tone 18 karat gold nib with the Osterson logo. The grip has a quote in Danish from the original Ugly Duckling story. Translated into English, it reads, it doesn't matter if you were born in a duck yard so long as you are hatched from a swan's egg. As is usual, the engravings provide good grip. And also as usual, the pen does not post. It is well balanced and can be cartridge converter filled or eyedropper filled. The pen comes in the usual beautiful wood box that I've shown many times before. Well, there you have it, the David Osterson, Hans Christian Andersen. Simply amazing how David Osterson was able to tell this classic story with great imagery from top to bottom, or in this case, bottom to top. Another incredible design from David Osterson. Please leave comments below, take a look at my other reviews, and subscribe to Primarily Pens. I'll have additional reviews soon.